Martians? Uh, Marco, there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. For real? Totally. Take a look. What don't you see? Is it snacks? I love snacks. Well, nothing green, no plants, and nothing blue. So, no oceans, and also probably no snacks. All plants and animals, big or small, on land or in the oceans, need water to live. And Mars doesn't have enough. So that's why Mars isn't blue and green like Earth. It doesn't have any oceans or plants on it. So it's just all red rocks and dirt? Pretty much. Oh, <gasps> cool. So let's get down there. Buckle up, Polos. We're landing on Mars. because the gravity on Mars is less than half of what it is on Earth. Hey, Chester, if there's no life on Mars, then what's that? Huh? <gasps> oh, Twax! Twax! Lucky! You're right, Nash. They can't be footprints. Unless whoever made them has really long feet. <gasps> Why can everyone understand Nash but me? Oh, maybe they're trails left by snakes slithering along the ground. Like this. <laughs> I know my vehicles, and these are definitely made by a vehicle. A Martian vehicle, driven by a Martian creature. <gasps> but there is no life on Mars that we know of yet. No water, remember? Then what made that? Come on, Polos, let's follow the track. Yeah! Whoa! Here we go, Polos! What's that up ahead? It is the tallest volcano in the solar system, called Olympus Mons. Whoa! Olympus Mons is ginormous! Stop! Look at that! Starting here, the tracks go all over the place. Whatever made them could have gone any direction. Let's get out there and try to see which way they went. Telescope! Telescope! Oh! Art is so cool, but I still don't know what kind of art to do for the show. <coughs> that is loud. Wow, that bird is dancing. Wait, that's it. I'll do a dance for the show. Hey, Chester, I just saw the most amazing thing, a dancing bird. I'm putting in rainforest dancing bird. That one. The superb bird of paradise. Whoa! So the male bird makes a dance floor by sweeping away dirt and branches. And then it calls to the females. I heard it. It was loud. And when they come, it goes into its dance. They snap their tail feathers. It sounded like snapping fingers. Wow, look at that. Now that's a rainforest dance. Welcome to the Rainforest Art Show. Hi! Why? Tweez! Now, Lily! Step to the left, bounce to the right, strut like a bird of paradise. 
sway like a palm tree in the breeze To the green forest dance with me Step to the left, bounce right, hooray! This is how we strut when the music plays Sway like a palm tree in the breeze To the rainforest dance with me Another hypothesis. What's that? A hypothesis is what you think might be the answer to a question. In this case, why ostriches put their heads in the sand. They might do it because they're scared, but there might be another reason. Well, my hypothesis is that they do it to hide from predators, from animals that want to eat them. But that leaves their whole body sticking out unprotected. Yeah, and if its head is in the ground, it won't be able to see a predator coming. Well, that might make them pretty silly, but you never know. So let's go find out why ostriches bury their heads in the sand. Let's find out what those ostriches are doing. Come on! Shh! We don't want them to run away. Right. And I have just the thing to help us get really close to them. Huh? <gasps> they're not real. I made them. They're hollow inside, so they're easy to carry. We can hide behind them and get closer to the ostriches. Wow, everybody, wow. Hurry up. Shh. Shh. Quiet, everybody. There they are. Shh. Oh, hey, oh, ah. ah, come on. Let's try to get closer. Wow, they're even bigger close up. You know, we haven't seen any ostriches stick their head in the sand yet. Wait, I think that one is. But there haven't been any loud noises, and there aren't any predators around here. Those were two of the things we thought. So maybe that's not it. But it could still be hot. Or itchy. Look, there goes another one. Holding its head in the sand. Is it? I can't see what it's doing. I think we should try to get closer. Ginormous eggs! <gasps> the eggs! Wow! Ooh. Those are definitely the biggest eggs in the world! That must be its nest! Look, it's turning the eggs with its beak! That's why it keeps lowering its head! They're not sticking their heads in the sand at all! They're sticking their heads in their nests! Which are a hole in the ground! We figured it out! Their necks are so long and their heads are so small that when they bend down, it just looks like they're sticking their head in the sand. And now we know, because we investigated for ourselves. And now I know something about ostriches. We all do. Nash, watch out. Uh. Whoa! Nash. Shh, ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> It's hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here, my hat. You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah, water! Wawa, Wawa, for everybody. Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. 
don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. They're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh, what's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhinos' backs. Seeding bugs. I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff. Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, flippers. My stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack. And get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Look. Nice box. From me? Aw. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Ah! Eee! Wow. What's that? It's a hermit crab, Lily. Wherever you find hermit crabs, you usually find shells around it, too. I hope so. Thanks, Chester. <laughs> nice. <gasps> More. Bye bye. Bye, Nash. Ooh, these ones are pretty. <gasps> My shells. Wh where did they go? Mm -hmm. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Polos, have any of you seen my seashells? They're gone. Gone? No way! We'll help you search for them. Where's Nash? <laughs> uh... <laughs> ah! <Ooh. gasps> right there. Oh, sorry. It's okay, Nash. We'll rebuild it later. We have shells to find. <gasps> Lily, I think we solved the mystery. Really? A hermit crab. Lots of hermit crabs and shells. Yes, we found them. But why did they take them? Hermit crabs don't grow their own shells. They live inside ones that other creatures leave behind. Like hand-me-down clothes? Wow. What happens when one grows too big for its shell? It leaves it behind and looks for a bigger shell until it finds one that makes it a perfect fit. Interesting. Whoa, that's neat. <laughs> it's like we did trying on different sun hats. I love collecting seashells, but these hermit crabs need them more than I do. Enjoy, little crabbies. Need any help building your sand castle? Aw, that's nice, Lily. Definitely. Of course. <gasps> At least it has antler holes now. <laughs> Makes it a perfect fit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chester. <laughs> I think somebody else has found a perfect fit, too. Right, Hermit Crab? Does he mean no? I think he means no this time. 
But it's definitely a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> trying to show us? Mm -mm. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash! Nash! No touching! No? No! No! Okay! No. It's coming this way! Look out! Uh oh! Right! Oh, I mean swim! Nash, watch out! Crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. 